Distance, Time and Speed I walked to the park at an average speed of 8 km per hour and returned jogging at an average speed of b km per hour. Find the total distance d in kilometers traveled by me if this traveling time was t hours. Now this is a very general distance time speed problem and we are going to encounter many similar questions in the following videos. So understanding this problem will help you solve all those questions. Let us first remember what is the relation between distance, time and speed. So our triangle here relates distance, speed and time in which distance d is equals to speed into time, right? So that is the relation between distance, speed and time. Distance is product of speed and time. Speed is the ratio of distance and time, and time is ratio of distance and speed. So that relationship connects distance, time, and speed. We are going to use this relationship to solve, or to rather understand, this question. Now let me kind of give you a sketch. I walk to the park at an average speed of 8 kilometers per hour. So let us say we start from here, that's the origin, and I walk to the park, and let us say this is my originating point, O, and that is the park, P. Now, it says I walk to the park at an average speed of A kilometers per hour. That means that speed is A kilometers per hour. And let us say that the distance O to P is X. Now, if speed is a, so let us say speed equals to a and distance equals to x, then what is the time taken? Time is ratio of distance and speed, right? So time, let me call this time as going from o to p as x divided by a, right? The distance x divided by speed a. So that is the time taken to reach from the originating point to the park. Now let us say the return journey is from P to A. So it, it is like this, right? same distance. So at this time what is happening is distance is still equals to X but the speed here is B. It's kind of different, right? So let us say the speed is B. Now in this case, what is the time taken to return? Time taken will be from P to O, so time to return will be distance divided by speed, X divided by B. Now when we say that find the total distance D in kilometers traveled by me if this traveling time was T hours, that means the total time taken is T hours. That really means this total t time taken is t hours means t is equal to sum of these two times, right? So x over a plus x over b. That is the total time, right? Now what is x? x is one side distance. When we say total distance, total distance d will be 2 times x. Remember that, okay? So let us find out x from here. And then we can always multiply by 2 to get the total distance, right? Now in this, to solve for x, we can take a, b as a common denominator, right? So b gets multiplied by x, so we get b times x plus a times x. And that is equals to total time t. Now if I take x common, so I get a plus b or b plus a, one of the same thing divide by a over b is equals to time t. Now from here we can always find what x is. So x is equals to cross multiply, right? t times a b divided by a plus b. So that is the distance x which we are talking about. Now when we say find total distance, remember that's kind of critical, right? So at times you may miss this total distance t. So total distance will be 2 times x, right? So total distance is 2 times x 
and which is equals to 2 times t right times a b divided by a plus b do you see that so that is the total distance correct so that is how you can solve this question now i purposely left space on the right side to show you an alternate way of doing the same thing right so i prefer to do distance times speed using a table so let's make a table here relating distance speed and time so in this table we'll have three columns which are basically distance speed and time right now let us consider first so we are redoing the same question right i walk to the park at an average speed of eight kilometers per hour so let us say i'm going from here to the park and the speed is a distance is x time will be distance divided by speed that means x over a right now on the return let's say this is my return distance is x speed is b right so time will be x divided by b right that is what it is right so what we get here is relation between time taken to go from originating point to the park and the return time. It is given to us that the total time is t, right? And the total distance will be 2x. So this is 2x total distance and time is t. So 2x is the total distance when we add. So let's find x first and we can always multiply by 2 to get the total distance. How is time related? Sum of these two times is the total time correct so that is how we get our relation and we say well from here itself you can say t is equals to x over a plus x over b right it's exactly same as we started right so we get the same relation so if you solve you get the same answer do you see that so you can follow either of these methods right you can make table of values solve or you can do it in this fashion but either case, what you really get is that the total distance, which is twice x, is equal to twice time times product of the speeds divided by this sum. So that is what the relation is. Okay. I hope that's absolutely clear. And we'll do a few examples which are kind of related. And try to pause the video, do the questions yourself, and then see if you have really understood the concept. This is extremely important concept and it is going to solve many problems relating distance, time and speed. All the best. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.